as the question says a 100 watt light bulb is placed at the center of a spherical chamber of radius 20 centimeters assume that 60 percent of the energy is supplied to the bulb is converted into light and the surface of the chamber is perfectly absorbing find the pressure exerted by the light on the surface of the chamber so we need to find the pressure on the surface of the chamber but we all know that pressure equals to force upon area and we have been given the radius over here for the spherical chamber so we have the area to be 4 pi r square so the, our only task remains is finding this force f now we need to calculate that from this force rather the power 100 watt now we have been given the power to be 100 watts and we all know that power is equals to F into V so force from this formula comes out to be 100 upon 3 into 10 to the power 8 giving us a value 2 rather 60 it is 100 over into 60 by 100 because it is 60 percent of 100 that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 and why we multiplied this by 60 by 100 because we have been given the efficiency to be 60 percent so it was 60 percent of 100 that is the actual power upon velocity which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 giving us the force to be 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 newtons so this is actually the force being applied on the surface of the chamber and this is the area so it's quite simple to calculate the pressure and it will be simply force upon area putting the values we will be getting 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 upon 4 into 3.14 into 0.2 whole square giving us a value of 3.9 into 10 to the power minus 7 or we can say that it is approximately 4 into 10 to the power minus 7 Newton per meter square.